Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is based on the idea of hyperbola. And we have been told that the equation of hyperbola given as x square minus two root two x minus two y square minus four root two y minus six is equal to zero. So this is given to us and further they are telling us that the vertex is at point A. So vertex is at point A. Then it is also given to us that B is one of the endpoints of the lattice rectum. So whatever lattice rectum we had, let's say this is our hyperbola. This is our vertex point A. This is, let's say, one of the endpoints of lattice rectum because we have our lattice rectum here from the foci. We have been also given that the point of focus here is C. So this is also known. We have to find the area of this triangle ABC. We need to find this base and this end. So basically, we need to find the distance AC and distance BC in this question. So that is known to us. So first of all, if I find out, I know vertex of an hyperbola is given by a comma zero. One point of the end of lattice rectum that is given by a e comma b square by a. A e is nothing but the x coordinate and that is nothing but the distance of focus from the origin. And the distance of the focus from the origin is a comma c. So we have known all the three points a, b, c. So let's find all of these three vertices, lattice rectums, endpoint, and focus, and then we'll solve the question further and find the area of this triangle. Right. So first of all, let's simplify the hyperbola. So if I simple simplify the hyperbola, it is given to me x square minus two root two x minus 2y square minus 4 root 2y minus 6 equals to 0. What I can do here is I can convert this. I can see it is the terms of x. So a square and minus 2ab. So let's add just b square also. So if I want b square, it is x square minus 2 root 2x plus 2. So if I am adding to, I'll subtract 2 because b square is nothing but root 2 square, right? minus. Here if I take 2 common, what I am left with is y square plus 2 root 2 minus 6 equals to 0. So what I am doing here is I can adjust this as a square minus 2 a b plus now I can write this as b square. Minus 2 goes with minus 6 becomes minus 8 equals to 0. Minus 2. Again, y square plus 2 root 2y. So again, a square plus 2ab's form is there. So I'll add b square again. So b square is nothing but root 2 square. So if I add here 2, so minus 2 into 2 is minus 4. So to compensate that, I'll have to add plus 4. Now I can write this entire thing as a square minus 2ab plus b square. So a minus b the whole square minus 2. This is a square plus 2ab plus b square. So I can write 2 as root 2 whole square, right? So it becomes y plus root 2 the whole square and plus 4 minus 8. If I take it on the right hand side, becomes plus 8 and minus 4. So it is 4. If dividing to throughout by 4 on both sides, x minus root 2 by root 2 square by 4 minus y plus root 2 square upon 2 is equal to 1. Now, if I compare this with my standard equations of the parabola x square by a square minus y square by b square equals to 1, we get x is x minus root 2, y is y plus root 2. So basically, if you understand what is happening here is, shift of origin is done. So from 0, 0, we have moved our origin to root 2 and minus root 2, right? After that, it is also known a square is 4. So a becomes 2. 
P square is also known that is two. So A B becomes right. I'll write this on the other side also. So X was X minus root two. Y is Y plus root two. A square is four and A gives me two. And B square, I got it as two. So B becomes two. Now, Let's find all the other points that we have been asked for. So A, B, and C, if I want to find out. Point A was nothing but the vertex point. That was A comma zero, that is two comma zero, right? So the X coordinate here is two and the Y coordinate here is zero. But if I find the actual X and Y coordinate, this is nothing but X minus two is equal to two. So the actual X coordinate of the vertex becomes two plus two. And why also if I find the actual thing, it becomes y plus root 2 is equal to 0. So the actual coordinate from the origin, if I see, it is y is minus root. So I get this coordinates of A, that is the vertex. Now let's find the others also. So B, that is my end point of the lattice rectum, that is given by A into E and B squared by A. So A into E, B squared by A, A is, so we haven't found eccentricity first. So let's first find eccentricity also for the hyperbola. So if I find the eccentricity, we already know it as C by A or it is root of A square plus B square by A. So it becomes root of A square plus B square by a square, so it is 1 plus b square by a square. And b square, a square, we already know. b square is 2, a square is 4, so 1 plus 2 by 4. That is 1 plus half, that is root of 3 by 1. So we have already got the eccentricity also with us now. That is root of 3 by 1. So if I use this idea now, a is already known, that is 2. And multiply with root of 3 by 2, b square is again 2, a is 2. So this becomes 1. So the y coordinate of this is 1 and this becomes root 3. So I get again capital X is root 6 and capital Y is 1. So if I find the actual x and y coordinates by shift of origin, we know it is x minus root 2. So x becomes root 6 plus root 2 and y plus, plus root 2 is equal to 1. So y becomes 1 minus 2. So I again have my x and y coordinates for b as well. And if I talk about c here, I'll write it here only. So c is nothing but the focus coordinates that is a comma 0 again. A, E, we have already found out that was root 6, so it becomes root 6, comma 0. So again, capital X is root 6 and capital Y is 0. So if I again find the actual coordinate, what I get here is, this becomes X minus root 2 is equal to root 6, so X becomes root 6 plus root 2. Y is, Y plus root 2 is 0, so Y becomes minus 2. So I get all the coordinates A, B, C. So now if I want to find the area of the triangle which is asked to us, let's see. We have already talked about this. We know A, we know B, we know C. We know all the coordinates. So it is nothing but area of triangle is half into base into height. So area of the triangle is half into AC into BC. So we just need to find the distance between these two points to get this base and height. And hence we get the area of the triangle. So if I find area of triangle, that is half AC, BC. So half AC is nothing but the distance of C from A. So it is root six plus root two minus two minus root. So get that root six plus root two minus 2 minus root 2 the whole square and if I talk about y coordinates it is minus root 2 and plus root 2 so 0 so minus root 2 plus root 2 square so this is AC if I talk about BC again 
you see b and c has both same x coordinates so difference of the x coordinates is going to turn out 0 square plus if i talk about y y2 minus y1 it is minus root 2 minus 1 plus root 2 so minus root 2 minus 1 plus root 2 the whole square now what you get here is half this if you see this again becomes 0 square so 0 this also gets cancelled. What you are left with is root 6 minus 2, the whole square plus 0 square. Into this is 0 square plus this also gets cancelled. You are left with minus 1 square, that is 1 square. So basically, half this gives me root 6 minus 2. This gives me 1. So I get here root 6 minus 2 by 2. So that gives me root 6 by 4, if I take this 2 inside the root, minus 1, and 6 by 4 is 3 by 2. The area of the triangle which is asked to me, I get the answer for the question as root 3 by 2 minus 1 squared units. And if you see the option which matches here with the question is B. Right? So this is the answer which we get for the question asked. So this was the question on the hyperbola where you just need to convert the hyperbola to a general equation and once you convert that you understand it is the shift of origin done so you need to find actual x and y coordinates for all the three things or points that are asked that is your vertex point end point of the lattice rectum and the focus point once you find that you just need to find the area by calculating the distance between the two point AC and BC, right? And then you can use the area of triangle formula half into base into height. So that gives me the answer for the question as option B. I hope you have understood how to solve such type of questions. We'll meet again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share, and subscribe if you are finding this helpful. Thank you.